MK, we can't use her name, just her initials, has been trapped in her totally paralysed body for two years. Complete locked-in syndrome has left her unable to even blink. Researchers in Geneva have found a way to decipher her thoughts. They spent 15 years monitoring blood oxygen levels in the brain and can now read the physiological impact of locked-in patients' thoughts. This study shows that, in fact, you can communicate and these people are thinking and they're able to answer quite complex questions. The technique measures blood oxygenation and electrical activity in the brain while patients are asked questions. The machine records the blood flow during that thought and calculates how the blood flow changes during yes and during no. And after a while, he has the computer develops an idea, a pattern of the blood flow during a yes and during a no. Der Name deiner Mutter ist Maggie. Here, MK, one of four in the trial, is asked, is your mother's name Maggie? The brain-computer interface learns how the brain responds, allowing it to calculate an answer. Deine Antwort wurde als ja. Questions with known answers are calculated correctly 70% of the time. So far, thanks to God, there was not a single patient who said he doesn't want to live. Counter to expectations, all four patients consistently answered yes when asked, are you happy? The team hopes one day to help those with paralysis resulting from amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, stroke or spinal cord injury. They say it could transform lives, allowing completely locked in patients to express feelings and opinion to loved ones and carers.